All right, this is an exercise that I do to make long tone tones more interesting. I like when I practice to make the music, the thing, the activity that I'm doing, I try to have it be fun, interesting, inspiring. I don't want to just work at long tones. I do want to have a beautiful sound, but as I work on that sound, I want to be having fun. Uh, so I start with a note at the bottom of the horn, and from day to day, I'll choose a different note so to keep it interesting. Uh, today we'll do a concert B flat, or I'll I'll say C on the on the tenor saxophone from now on to keep keep myself from getting confused. Uh, so I'm going to play a C, and then uh, while I'm playing the note C, I'm going to going to imagine the note a half step above it, which is a C sharp. I'm going to imagine that in my mind, and then see if I can hit that note precisely uh, and match it to what's in my mind. Okay, that's a minor second. Now I'm going to play again the C, and I'm going to imagine the note D, which is a, a whole step above it. And then the next interval is a minor third. So you see what I'm doing? I'm also memorizing the interval. I'm, I'm imagining what the sound of a minor third is. No, hey, that's a minor third. So I can start to memorize the intervals as well as practicing to play a long tone and to make both sounds sound good. <clears throat> So now what I do to start helping myself enjoy this exercise is if I hear something, I'll play it. I'll turn myself loose to explore what I'm hearing. Remembering that the fundamental thing I'm working on is the memorization of the intervals and playing long tones to get my sound solid. Okay, and that's another way to uh, memorize intervals is to attach them to a memory, uh, attach them to a melody rather. Uh, so here comes the bride. Um, oh, de -da -da. <laughs> remember that's that's a fourth I can sing that melody easily because it's very familiar uh, and you can find a melody uh, to attach to each interval as you go along to help you remember the names of the intervals help you remember the sound of the intervals and then as I say I turn myself loose with each one make it fun so now I'm going for a, a major six <laughs>
to an octave. Next one's going to be a flat at nine. And one more thing, as the intervals get bigger, uh, saxophone technical point, what I'm trying to do is keep my amb embouchure pretty steady. I'm not, I'm not changing as I move. I'm trying to support with air to support the, the interval, but I'm not, I'm not gripping or loosening here. I'm trying to keep this pretty, pretty steady. It's going to be a flat nine. all the way up to the very top of the horn this way practicing to hear the interval before you play it turn yourself loose <laughs>